morning dear students are you fine yeah are you feeling sleepy yes okay can we start our class shall we start say yes or no yes okay now what we learned in the last class what we have learned yes comparison of numbers less than greater than and equal to but we study for the two digit numbers isn't it okay shall we learn the comparison for three digit numbers yes okay let's we see the numbers comparison okay comparison of three digit say symbols we are going to learn less than greater than and equal to but we write the number three digit so 355 and 496 okay next i am going to write the number 781 and then 641 Okay. The next five hundred and ninety-eight, five hundred and ninety. I wrote three sets of numbers. Okay. Now you have to tell which is the less than number, which is the greater number. Okay. Which is the smallest number and which is the greatest number? You are going to tell. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. First number is three hundred and fifty-five. Next number is four hundred and ninety-six. Which is the biggest number? Okay, I will tell you one idea. What is the first number here? Three. What is the first number here? Four. So this number is starting with three, and this number is starting with four. So which is the smallest number? Three or four? Yes, three is the smallest number. So four is the greatest number. So we can put the symbol like this. Is it easy? Is it easy to find that? Yes. Okay. Now next one is seven hundred and eighty-one, six hundred and forty-one. Which is the greatest number here? Seven hundred and eighty-one is the greatest number. So we have to. Put the symbol greater than. Okay. Next number five hundred and ninety-eight. Five hundred and ninety-eight. These two numbers are equal, so we can write the symbol equal to. Okay. We already learned this in the previous class for comparison of two-digit numbers. Same thing we are going to learn in the three-digit numbers. Okay. There is no other changes. First, we have to see the first two numbers. Okay, this number is starting with three. This number is starting with four. So four is the greatest number. So we put the symbol like this. Next one, seven hundred and eighty-one, six hundred and forty-one. Seven is the greatest number. Then six. So we put the symbol like this because this is the greatest. Okay. Next one, these are the two equal numbers. These two numbers are equal, so we put the symbol equal to. Is it clear for everyone? Is there any doubt in the comparisons? No. Okay. So next, I hope all have understood the comparisons. Okay. If you are having any doubts, we can discuss in the online class. Okay. So we are going to learn ascending order. What we are going to learn? Ascending order. What is ascending order? In first standard itself, we learned the ascending order. What is ascending order? Yes, smallest number to biggest number, isn't it? We are going to arrange the numbers in smallest to biggest. 
small to big is the ascending order so now i'm going to write the but we are going to learn for the three digit numbers okay we have learned for the two digit numbers but in this class we are going to learn the ascending order in three digit numbers okay so first number is 264 360 816 784 846 these are the five numbers that i have taken so first we have to see the first numbers of every number okay first digits of every number okay so first is 2 then 3 2 7 8 So, which is the smallest number here? Two. Yes. But we are having two as for two numbers, isn't it? Two is starting for two numbers. So next we are going to take the second digit, six and one. So six or one is the smallest number. Yes, one is the smallest number. So we are going to write the number two hundred and sixteen as first. Then two hundred and sixty-four. Okay. Next one is three seven eight. Which is the smallest number in three seven eight? Three. So we have to write this number three hundred and eighty-seven. Next one is seven hundred and eighty-four. Eight hundred and forty-six. Which is the smallest number here? Seven hundred and eighty-four. The last number is eight hundred and Forty-six. This is the arrangement of the ascending order. So next second question. Let's we see the another example. Okay. Eight hundred and twenty-six, five hundred and forty, three hundred and sixty-four, two hundred and one, seven hundred and thirteen. Okay. These are the Other numbers. So let's we see. The first number is starting with eight, five, three, two, and seven. So different types of digits. So eight, five, three, two, seven. Which is the smallest number here? Two. So we are going to write the first number as two hundred and one. Then next number is three hundred and sixty-four. Next number. Five, so five hundred and forty. Next, seven, so seven hundred and thirty. Then next number is eight, so eight hundred and twenty-six. Okay. For yeah, for a clearance, you can write the numbers first numbers as above. Okay. You can write like this. Okay, then next we can write the arrangements. We can make the arrangements easily. So eight, five, three, two, seven. Which is the smallest number here? Two. So we have to write the two hundred and one as first number. Then next number is three. So writing three hundred and sixty-four. Next number is five, five hundred and forty. Next number is seven, seven hundred and thirty. Next number is eight, eight hundred and twenty-six. Is it easy to learn? Yes. Okay. So we learn the ascending order, isn't it? You all learn the ascending order. Okay. Next, can we see the descending order? What is the descending order? Yes. Bigger number to smallest number. Okay. So next, we are going to learn the descending order. Next one is the descending order. So we are going to arrange the numbers in biggest number to smallest number. Okay. So the first number is one hundred and ninety. 
354, 947, 642, 587. And the second number is 654, 254, 454, 854, 154. Okay. Now I wrote the two questions. First one. What is the first digit here? One. What is the first digit here? What is the first number? Three. What is the first number? Nine. What is the first number? Six. What is the first number? Five. So, these are the numbers. In this number, which is the biggest number? One, three, nine, six, five. Which is the biggest number? Yes, 9 is the biggest number. So, in 9, we can have to write 9, 4, 7. Okay, next biggest number is 6. So, what is the number here? Yes, very good, 642. Next number is 5. So, we have to write the number 587. Next step, 1 or 3 is the biggest number? 3. So we have to write 354. Next number is 1. So we are writing 119. Is it easy? Yes. Okay. For next step, 6, 2, 4, 8, and 1. So which is the biggest number? 854. Next one is 654. Next 454. Plus 254 then 154. So 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. We have arranged the numbers in biggest to smallest. Okay? Is it clear for everyone? Is there any doubts? No. Okay, so we have learned the comparison of three digit numbers that we already learned in the previous class. So today's class, the importance we have taken for the ascending order and descending order. Okay, I will ask the questions while we are going to attending the online session. Okay, I will ask, so get ready for that. Okay, are you ready to answer? Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Bye.